basketball game last week and uh the ref steps up before every game and he says you know this is the house of the lord and we want you guys to respect the house of the lord we want you guys to understand that this is not like any other gymnasium so when you come in if we hear you guys cursing and using profanity we're going to ask you to leave the gymnasium now he didn't say anything wrong what he did was just simply ask you to respect the house of the lord which you should be already doing anyway Man, but then you had people catching attitudes fancy he got to say it's every game Every game he gonna come out here with the microphone and say we gotta respect the house of the Lord, but you should already be doing that. He wouldn't have to say anything if people were already taking evaluation of themselves and respecting the house of the Lord. In verse 14, James asked the question, he said, What do it profit, my brethren? Thou a man say that he have faith and have not works, can faith save him? So in other words, if a man or a woman simply states that they have faith, are they really connected to the salvation that God it's offering. Mm -hmm. See, the start, you start out with faith. And faith should push you into a situation or push you into the point to where you start to change your behavioral patterns. Mm -hmm. It's to get you to line up your lifestyle with the faith that you're professing to have. Right. See, fashionable faith does just the opposite. Mm -hmm. What happens is when the fashion begins to wear out, it loses its attraction. Mm -hmm. It loses, it becomes less and less of a thing that you do. So when you start out professing faith, yeah. it's attractive and, it, and it's powerful and you don't have a problem witnessing and telling people that you believe in God. That's but it. the more and more you do it, because it's a fashion, you begin to profess less. Uh -huh. You begin to say that you believe even less. So with your fashionable faith, what happens is you begin uh, something that is something that you would do around a certain group of people. See, fashionable faith only comes around on Sundays and Wednesdays. My God. And the same way that, that you change clothes when fashions change, on those days other than Sundays and Wednesdays, you change your faith the same way you change your clothes. Oh See, when you're around a certain group of people and it's attractive to have faith on, on Sundays and Wednesdays mostly, you profess your faith. You say that you have faith. You do all these, these faithful rituals and things that people do. You you bless the Lord and hallelujah, praise God, shop it out and all that stuff. You, don't do it. you think you're doing something spiritual, but then when you get around that other crowd of folk that have nothing to do with God, you change your faith. You change your speech. You change how you act. You change the way you carry yourself because it's only a fashion and you change the same way you change your clothing. 